my Legos when I was seven years old. Um, when my dad wrote his, um, wrote a fretboard um, um, into the um, room and where I was playing Legos. And then um, um, I made a um, copy of the fretboard from Legos. Uh, and then um, I showed it to my dad. Um, we put it um, on top of the guitar. Uh, then um, my dad said um, we should build something like this. So we started building it. We made um, we 3D printed this um, fretboard, and then we um, put um, inserted the Legos um, in these holes. Um, and then um, um, we were doing um, so much progress. Um, it was going good. Uh, all the frets are movable. So um, on the standard guitars, you cannot move the frets. So why they are movable? Uh, just a, a simple answer uh, to play Turkish music. Turkish music uh, has many microtones uh, in between the uh, half tones on the piano keys on the standard guitar frets. So uh, we have to move the frets in order to play Turkish music. But it's not just Turkish music. It's also Arabic music, uh, Indian music, uh, Balinese music. Also, it's the music of Renaissance, uh, Baroque music in Europe. So uh, it's a big, huge genre, microtone music. I didn't uh, mention the, the uh, educational tool of this guitar because, you know, as I told you, we designed it to play Turkish music on the guitar. But then, uh, during the uh, process that uh, after we had this guitar, we also discovered that it's a great uh, pedagogical tool to teach the classical guitar or any other type of guitar to the kids. Because uh, Atlas, for example, uh, it's like also playing with Legos, but uh, you can remove all the frets and then uh, insert the ones that you only need. So it also makes playing easier because you have very few frets that only you only need. So you don't uh, have uh, any mistakes by uh, trying to press your uh, you know, fingers. Um, this competition at Georgia Tech um, organized, um, it's a great competition. Um, we are in the finals now. There are 29 amazing instruments. If you want to vote on our instruments, um, you have to click on our instruments and then you see a heart um, and with a vote sign on top of it. You click on the heart and um, you just gave us support.